This is the Stanford Prison Experiment Project. To begin with, we have the summary. Dr. Philip Zimbardo is a psychology professor at Stanford University who simulated a mock prison in August of 1971 for the purpose of understanding the development of norms and the effects of roles and social expectations. 24 students, physically and psychologically healthy, were selected to participate in the experiment. Of those 24, 12 were randomly assigned as prisoners and the other 12 as guards. A mock prison was built in a part of the school where the prisoners were held in cells for 24 hours a day over an expected two-week time period while the guards rotated out. As the days go on, the guards and the prisoners are faced with challenges against themselves and with each other. Unfortunately, the experiment was cut short to only about six days. The movie follows an experiment that was designed to test social psychology by seeing how far people will go to fulfill the particular position that they were assigned to. Social psychology is a study that focuses on people's behavior and how they are affected by the presence of others as well as seeing how they form imp impressions of them. Much of the research done by psychologists that was related to social psychology was behind Fruden's theories. It wasn't until three re researchers named Floyd Alport, Solomon Ash, and Kurt Lewin that refused Fruden's theories and emphasized another approach that was to understand how people's thoughts and behaviors were influenced by others. It was their idea to use the experimentation in order to thoroughly test their hypothesis. They focused on the power that specific situations and the interactions of one another have on a person. Film compared to our research. When comparing the studies of social psychology and the setting that the movie provided, I can see that the movie did a good, great job of portraying the scientific studies behind social psychology. In the beginning of the movie, when one of the prisoners had first gotten there, he smiled at the guards when they told him what to do, indicating that he is not taking the experiment seriously. As the guards began to get more comfortable with the power and authority they hold, their commands began to get more intense and humiliating. The guards were taking advantage of the situation and the prisoners' vulnerability. The movie shows that in just one day, the characters are doing a great job of acting out the roles they were assigned, getting a feel of how to act around each other, who they can mistreat, and who they can trust each person behaving differently to the situation. Good educational content for general public. The film is a good source for an educational value because one can see the transition that the person's behavior goes through when placed in certain situations with certain people. What is the movie more serious or humorous? The movie treated the subject matter seriously while doing a good job of adding its little humorous moments. However, it was dry humor, so it didn't take attention from the main idea, but it also gave a sense of amusement. What did we learn? I learned a lot by watching this film, but the biggest one would have to be when the guard stated, it's easy for you to say, oh, I wouldn't have acted that way, but you don't know that, and now I know what I'm capable of doing, and it hurts. I have never realized that a certain situation could make you act upon a way that you didn't know you were capable of until you personally experienced it. What scene depicts social psychology? I feel like the movie shows social psychology throughout the whole movie rather than just one scene. Throughout the movie, the prisoners are faced with the abuse both physically and mentally by the guards which led to both groups behaving in ways they didn't ever think was possible. Recommendation of the movie. Was the movie entertaining? The movie was entertaining to watch because while watching it, you want to know what the characters will do next or how they'll react to a specific situation while also educating yourself on social psychology. Would we recommend this movie to someone else? We would recommend this movie to other people. It's very interesting to see how the mock prison affects the students as both prisoners and guards. It's also interesting to see how people can change when in a certain situation and become someone they didn't think was possible. Is there any other movie that should be put on the list? We don't know of any movies that can go on this list. I don't typically watch movies like this, but they are very interesting and I would definitely love to watch some others just like it.